In contrast to many countries with parliamentary forms of government, where the office of president or head of the state is usually ceremonial, in the United States the president is vested with great authority and is arguably the most powerful elected official in the world. Of the men who have occupied the office of president of the United States, historians agree on just a few who could be ranked among the most influential. Some were tested by domestic crises, others by international conflict, but all left their mark on history. In this video, we will be counting down the top 10 commander in chiefs in United States history. Number 10, Dwight Eisenhower. During Eisenhower's tenure between January 20th, 1953 to January 20th, 1961, the conflict at Korea ceased and the U.S. experienced tremendous economic growth. Several milestones in the civil rights movement took place during Eisenhower's term. These included the Supreme Court decision Brown versus the Board of Education in 1954, the Montgomery Bus Boycott of 1955 and 1956, and the Civil Rights Act of 1957. While in office, Eisenhower signed legislation that created the Interstate Highway System and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA for short. In foreign policy, Eisenhower maintained a strong anti-communist stance in Europe and Asia. He expanded the nation's nuclear arsenal and supported the government of South Vietnam. Number 9. James Polk James Polk served one term as president between March 4, 1845 to March 4, 1849. During his time in office, Polk increased the size of the United States more than any other president other than Jefferson through the acquisition of California and New Mexico as a result of the Mexican-American War. He also settled the nation's dispute with Great Britain over the United States' northwest border, giving the U.S., Washington, and Oregon, and giving Canada British Columbia. During his tenure, the U.S. issued its first postage stamp, and the foundation for the Washington Monument was laid. Number 8. Woodrow Wilson Wilson served the U.S. from March 4, 1913 to March 4, 1921. He began his first term vowing to keep the United Nations out of foreign entanglements. By his second term, however, Wilson did an about-face and led the U.S. into World War I. At the war's conclusion, Wilson began a vigorous campaign to create a global alliance to prevent future conflicts. The resulting League of Nations, a precursor to the United Nations, was largely hobbled by the United States' refusal to participate after rejecting the Treaty of Versailles. Number 7. Harry Truman Harry Truman's presidency lasted from April 12, 1945 to January 20, 1953. He rose to power after serving as vice president during Franklin Roosevelt's final term in office. Following Roosevelt's death, Truman guided the U.S. through the closing months of World War II, including the decision to use the new atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. In the years after the war, relations with the Soviet Union quickly deteriorated into a Cold War that would last until the 1980s. Under Truman's leadership, the U.S. launched the Berlin Airlift to combat a Soviet blockade of the German capital and created the multi-billion dollar Marshall Plan to rebuild war-torn Europe. In 1950, the nation became mired in the Korean War, which would outlast Truman's presidency. Number 6. Theodore Roosevelt Roosevelt's presidency began on September 14, 1901 and ended on March 4, 1909. He came to power after the sitting president, William McKinley, was assassinated. He was elected at age 42 and was the youngest man to take office in history. During his two terms, Roosevelt used the presidency to pursue a strong domestic and foreign policy. He implemented regulations to curb the power of large corporations like Standard Oil and the nation's railroads. He also beefed up consumer protections with the Pure Food and Drug Act, which gave birth to the modern Food and Drug Administration, and created the first national parks. Roosevelt pursued an aggressive foreign policy mediating the end of the Russo-Japanese War and developing the Panama Canal. Number 5. Andrew Jackson Jackson served as president from March 4, 1829 to March 4, 1837. Known as Old Hickory, he is considered the nation's first populist president. As a self-styled man of the people, Jackson earned fame for his exploits at the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812 and later against Seminole indigenous people in Florida. His first run for the presidency in 1824 ended in a narrow loss to John Quincy Adams, but four years later Jackson won the presidency in a landslide. While he was in office, Jackson and his Democratic allies successfully dismantled the Second Bank of the United States, ending federal efforts at regulating the economy. He was an avowed proponent of westward expansion, and Jackson had long advocated the forced removal of indigenous peoples east of the Mississippi. 
Thousands perished along the so-called Trail of Tears under the relocation programs that Jackson implemented. Number 4. Thomas Jefferson Thomas Jefferson's presidency began March 4, 1801 and ended March 4, 1809. He is the third president of the United States and also played an important role in America's birth. He drafted the Declaration of Independence and served as the nation's first Secretary of State. As president, he organized the Louisiana Purchase, which doubled the size of the United States and set the stage for the nation's westward expansion. While Jefferson was in office, the United States also fought its first foreign war, known as the First Barbary War in the Mediterranean, and briefly invaded present-day Libya. Number 3. George Washington Known as the father of the nation, George Washington's presidency began April 30, 1789 and ended March 4, 1797. He served as the first president of the United States and was commander-in-chief during the American Revolution and afterwards presided over the Constitutional Convention of 1787. With no precedent for selecting a president, it fell to members of the Electoral College to choose the nation's first leader two years later. Over the course of two terms, Washington established many of the traditions the office still observes today. Deeply concerned that the office of president not to be seen as that of a monarch, but as one of the people, Washington insisted that he be called Mr. President rather than Your Excellency. During his tenure, the U.S. established rules for federal spending, normalized relations with its former enemy, Great Britain, and laid the groundwork for the future capital, Washington, D.C. Number 2. Franklin Roosevelt Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the nation's longest serving president from March 4, 1933 to April 12, 1945. Elected during the depths of the Great Depression, he held office until his death in 1945, only months before the end of World War II. During his tenure, the role of the federal government was greatly expanded. Depression-era federal programs like Social Security, enacted during his presidency, still exist, providing basic financial protections for the nation's most vulnerable. As a result of the war, the United States also assumed a prominent new role in global affairs and it's a position that it still occupies. Number 1. Abraham Lincoln If not for Abraham Lincoln serving from March 4, 1861 to April 15, 1865 and presiding during the American Civil War, the U.S. might look completely different today. Lincoln guided the Union through four bloody years of conflict, abolished enslavement with the Emancipation Proclamation, and at the war's end laid the foundation for reconciliation with the defeated South. Lincoln did not live to see a fully reunited nation. He was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth in Washington, D.C. weeks before the Civil War officially concluded. He is often regarded as the greatest president in U.S. history for his role in laying the groundwork of equality in the United States. These ten men were accredited for altering the course of the nation as a whole. They were selected based on their influence, not based on moral character, ideologies, or general public acceptance. They were chosen because they are the 10 most influential presidents in the United States history. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you found the content contained within both entertaining and educational. Check out one of these other top 10 videos, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.